What's up Trill Slime Squad? Welcome back to another video. I'm so hyped for today's video because I'm gonna be adding too many ingredients into different slimes. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any other videos that I upload. I have a ton of videos planned for you guys. I also wanna give a shout out to Talisa Tassel for popularizing this video. She was actually the first person I seen do this, so I just wanted to give her some credit. Also, I wanna give some shout outs to some Trill Slime Squad members. In the last video, for some reason, the shout outs did not pop up on screen. So shout out to you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for having your post notifications turned on. So yeah, let's get on to this video. So I think it's normal in these videos for people to use clear slimes, but I wanted to use different textures. So this first texture is actually a cloud cream and I added a ton of silver foil paper. I'm pretty sure I added about like 35 sheets. I obviously didn't show all of it in this video because that would literally take forever, but this thing was packed full. Surprisingly, this did not change the overall texture of the slime. So next, I decided to take a cucumber melon slime and add in way too much fake plastic snow. I was really excited to do this because I haven't done one of these snow fizz texture slimes in a really long time and I knew the ASMR was going to be amazing. So I added in probably 16 ounces, maybe even more, but I added in a lot of this fake snow and the texture was so perfect. I was obsessed. Obviously I couldn't add too much because then the slime would not stretch or anything. So I added in a ton until I just put it anymore. Thank you. 
For this next slime, I decided to add in way too much polymer clay. So I took a six ounce of this slime and it has a really nice glossy base. So starting off, I just took five little packs of the clay, but I went ahead and added in more. I knew this would either go really good or really bad because this type of clay can make your slime super sticky and like gummy and I don't really like that texture so I was really scared but I think this was super successful. Obviously it did get a little sticky but it was so fun to mix in and it was really really sizzly. And for the last slime, I took a clear slime. I know this is a little bit more traditional because usually people use clear slimes, so I had to do so too. And for this one, I added in a lot of female slices and I also added in a ton of confetti glitter. I was scared for this one because I didn't want to ruin this clear slime because the base is just perfect. But overall, I loved this one. It was super bubbly and had really, really nice bubble pops. I was obsessed. So this one was definitely a win in my book. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below which slime was your favorite from this video. And if you guys want to see a part two of this, let me know because I actually want to do this again. It was super fun. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!